Alright, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to our apostles and elders. And Shalom to all the Akim out there, preaching his word in truth and sincerity. And I'm pretty much making this video because I had I was watching the brothers and um, Men of Valor, and they was going in how um, Brandon T. Jackson, he pretty much, now he's uh, he's voicing how he's waking up to the truth, so-called, supposedly. And he's now he's trying to embrace being an Israelite and but he doesn't it doesn't seem like he has a hundred like the correct doctrine so to speak not so to speak but he doesn't have the correct doctrine because he does he still doesn't have the name and he's not doing everything correctly so like as you can see right here on his on his social media he said uh shout out to shout out to all my he's not even spelling the Akim right he's, i don't know what this is Ankium or whatever he's trying to say let's go we changed in the world comedy movies kingdom traveling to the land of milk and honey honey so he's going to israel um jerusalem but he doesn't know that we're that's not that land's polluted it's defiled and we're not going back there until this so-called white man is taken down esau and then that land needs to be nuked before we even go back there because all of the wickedness that's been done over there all right you got peak, peak city and all this other stuff that these these rats over there is doing defiling our land all right but you see the guy right here in the picture um that's sitting by him he has the i think he's i'm not sure where he got on it what he's wearing but you can see it says yahweh on um on the on his forehead on the forehead part of it so but they're not teaching the real name so you know they, they they know the name but you're not putting it out there all right but this is just further proof that the truth is, is, is we at we at the end because the truth is getting spread even more you haven't you're going to have more celebrities like this coming out all right a lot more celebrities coming out and just voicing it because like you had the rant with Kanye he was lightweight telling the truth to, to these um, bug outs but nobody even picked up what he was saying and now you got this dude another cele celebrity that has a big following right and now he's he's telling people that to wake up and trying to so-called wake other people up to the truth but he's more so on the unit oh, he's on that IUIC the uh, the, all, like all these other um, all these other Israelite groups they basically want unity when the Lord's not about that all right it's about being separate because it's only it's only one true doctrine all right it's not you can't just say everybody can believe what they want to believe and we come together that's not how it works we all have to be together and one under um in, in the same accord in the same judgment like the scriptures say so the first scripture I'm gonna hit is Matthew 24 and 14 and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come and that's how we know we're at the end because now Dick everybody everybody's heard this truth it's out there online every day you got brothers uploading videos daily and then you got now you have some more celebrities telling people to wake up and posting it on their social media telling people about the truth all right and it's probably just the the first of many that's going to start coming out because you know that it's a, it's a lot plenty of celebrities in the football basketball ufc uh, in the comedy and uh, music industry all these high level people in um in the worldly standards all right that has a platform to, to let our people know the truth they're starting to do that that's how you know we're at the end they're not they're not um they're not telling the full truth because they're not telling the name they're, they're, they don't care about the doctrine like that guy um brandon t jackson in one of his videos he was saying he know that we have different groups that have different beliefs but we should all come together instead of being separate that's not what the scriptures say all right because um because amos three and three all right can two walk together except they be agreed and we can't all right because how can we how can we come together one person there's the girl going by they call him the lord christ We're, we don't call him christ we say yahweh shai that's the true name all right because the name has power and we got to call on that name and use it because the scriptures say that that we should be saved by that name all right using the name yahweh bashim yahweh shai all right yahweh the father in the name of yahweh shai the son and that those are two that's a the very important thing knowing the name and that's one of the things that they're not they're not going to push all right 
and more than likely they're set up because you can't just be plugged in and um just all of a sudden go renegade on the elites no that's not how it works because the elites at the end of the day they tr they control everything because if you if somebody was really um going out their way all right i don't really believe me personally i don't believe that he's sincerely like he, i believe he might be set up like um the bro brother brother man of valor was saying i believe he may be set up because you gotta think about it the elites control literally everything so if you came out, if you're in a high position like that, why didn't they just um, do you like they did Kanye West and just take you to the hospital unwillingly or something? Do, the least wouldn't just allow you to speak if you were telling the 100% truth. He's not doing that. He's not exposing Esau. He's not exposing the, the deep dark shit that they do in Hollywood, in um, Hollywood. All right. He's just out there. Basically, now you're going to it's just another guy to get people to follow him and um think that it's cool to just do whatever just know your is light and just be living your life basically we'll see what he talk about later but that only isn't like he's not even speaking the full truth all right because the scriptures tell you that there should be false um false prophets in the last days all right, and that could be it. Could be a guy like that, or a guy like IURC, Comfy, all these other groups, and they're gonna now they're on um, the least they're gonna they're gonna do anything um anything to really um, um sway more people to not follow the truth. All right, and this uh, Matthew twenty four and twenty four, where there shall arise false Christ and false prophets. And shall show great signs and wonders and so much that if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect all right and that's what basically what the least are going to try to do because we're getting we're getting to the point to where everybody literally knows about the israelites and we uh, we was just this weekend at camp it's people walking by like a dude a jake walked by he was saying like yeah i was just talking to my friend about this the other day and it's people this is like a normal conversation all right the so-called regular jakes on the streets they have conversations with other Jakes about the fact that they are Israelites, even if they don't want to go out there and preach the word and everything else. They still know at the end of the day they're an Israelite, all right. And the so-called white man is the devil. But you're gonna have more people, all right, in the higher higher uh, positions, so to speak, like this guy. They're gonna come out and try to say uh, that they they're awoken, they awake, they know the truth. You don't. You can't fully say you know the truth, cause knowing the truth would mean you coming against this devil. How are you, like you wouldn't be. You would drop everything and then do exactly what you were supposed to do, like the scriptures say. You're not going to the land of milk and honey. That land is polluted. It ain't the land of milk and honey right now, cause they got these so-called rats over there. All right. Verse on um, verse twenty-five. Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you. Behold, he is in the desert. Go, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers. Believe it not. All right, because that's what it's gonna come to. Um, come to, because you know that at least there. As we get closer to the end, they're gonna do anything it takes to deceive the elect, if it were possible. All right, like it says in verse twenty-four. They're going to do every. The elites are going to do anything, like anything and everything, to deceive the elect, if it were possible. The ones they are going to deceive are two thirds, because the elect, they're not going to be, they're, they're not going to be um, deceived. All right. They're going to, they're going to follow that right path. They're going to follow the truth. And as, as we get closer to the end, you're going to see more, more stuff like this going on. More guys coming out saying, celebrities, more so to speak coming out saying yeah I, I know that we're we're God's chosen people this and that but they're not going to go they're not going to be like the brothers in GMS are saying you're an Israelite you're from this tribe the breaking down the 12 tribes of the different nations the blacks for as far as the um, 12 tribes of Israel and then black are saying there are blacks Latinos and Native Americans and going into the fact that Esau is the devil and telling all these coming up against Esau in general, they're not going to do all that. They'll just say that they know about it, 
we're we're all um, we're all God's people. Let's come together. This and that, just like um, I U I U I C, and um, all these other he Hebrew Israelite groups. All right, I S U P K. All of them, they just have mass gatherings of all these different these different groups. All right, denominations of Israelites coming together, but they all believe in different things, and that's not how it works. All right. Trying to find that script for the same judgment, being under under the same accord and under the same judgment, because we're not going to all um, we when we come together, we're not going to be like these other groups. All right. Because we all we're all sticking to the same doctrine. All right. It's on, it's only one doctrine that's right. Cause everybody coming together you got dudes saying christ dudes saying uh what these just all all these off names basically and that's not how it's supposed to be because when you read in the scriptures any other time you didn't have the the 12 disciples they wasn't the, the 12 disciples of the lord and they, all the other prophets they weren't they wasn't um, telling different things. They were all in the same court. All right. Well, yeah. This is this isn't the exact scripture I wanted, but it still gets the same. It's getting the point across. All right. Um, Philippians 2 and 2 fulfill ye my joy that ye be like-minded all right like-minded in, in the same mindset having the same love being of one accord of one mind so we're supposed to be on, on the same accord in the same judgment all right because we ain't supposed to just be having everybody believing in different things all right one dude calling on Christ another dude calling on Yeshua another dude calling on this how how is that even that's just confusion all right that's why we're supposed to all be on the same accord in the same in the same judgment man all right because man 2017 is going to be that year because this is just this year but plus we get to the end of the year and it's right around the corner there's been a lot of things going on you got the now there's propaganda about fake news they're pushing the chip they're saying um, out here in California, they're, they're trying to make it to the point to where you can't even opt your kids out for vaccinations. Now, you're, if you have any kids out here, you got to, it's going to be to the point to where you, it's not up to you. You can't even say, I don't want to get my kid vaccinated. They're going to say, you, nope, you got to, um, you have to, or they're going to take your kids from you. That's how much of a devil Esau is, man. And that's why the scriptures tell you about not, not having kids in his captivity because Esau's basically he could just come and take your kids from you at any moment, man. That's how much of a devil he is. You can't even enjoy your your seed, man. That's why we we wait. We're um we're looking forward to the kingdom, all right. But I'm ended off on this last scripture in First Peter's four four and seventeen. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? That's right. Because we're in that time of judgment, man. For the time of judgment is coming. And it's going to begin in the house of Yahweh, man. It's going to begin at our people, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's where the judgment is going to begin. All right. 
two thirds of our people, they still t they still live in their life, not taking anything serious. They don't even take themselves serious. All right. They think that Babylon is going to continue forever. These scoffers, they think Babylon is going to continue forever. All these people, you got you got your uh, ten year plans. This place is going to be gone for ten years, man. This place is going to be destroyed. All right. And the judgment is going to start at our people, man. And the people that know about the truth, man. Because you're going to the scriptures tell you, you're going, your judgment is going to be twice as worse than a nigga that doesn't know. Because that he can, at least he can honestly say he didn't know any better. But you, you can't say that. You heard about the truth, and you chose not to follow it. You chose to, you chose to be like the, uh, you chose to be on the hype like ISUPK and all these other other groups saying that uh, it's, we're good enough to just basically they're basically on the hype to where they're saying that it's good enough to teach the truth and then just live your live your everyday life it's cool if you got dreads it's cool if you line your beard up it's cool if you do all this wickedness that it's not cool all right the lord didn't give you a cloak for your own a cloak of maliciousness for your sins man all right and we're not coming we're not coming together with everyone it's only a hundred and four hundred and forty four thousand the elect all right no. 144,000 and one third that's receiving salvation. Two thirds is going to be destroyed. And that's a huge number. Alright. So, so the one third is only receiving salvation. And two thirds are being destroyed by our people at the end of the day. So how can we all come together? That just shows you the hypocrisy of these people out here, man. And you just got to watch out. Alright. Because many more false prophets are going to arise. You already got all these false prophets out here now, but it's going to be many more as we get closer to the end. All right, because the time of judgment is out, or it's around the corner, man. The elites are setting up everything perfectly for that year 2017 to be that year, Lord willing. All right. So with that, I'm gonna give all praises again to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders. And Shalom to the I came out there preaching His word, truth, sincerity. Death to America, man. Kwame Asherala and all the Akim out there that's sincere in this truth, man, keep enduring because as you can see, this devil is setting, his, he's setting up his shit, man. He's getting it ready. The time of Jacob's trouble and the time of judgment is coming. The real, the real judgment, alright? Shalom.